When I tell people I'm planning on kayaking alone from Maine to Guatemala, the first question they ask is, why would anyone in their right mind want to do that? My favorite version of the question was, what went wrong in your life that led you to this? Well, what went right in my life was that I visited the huge garbage dump in Guatemala City. I smelled the methane in the rotten garbage. I felt the choking dust blowing around and saw the vultures circling overhead. I talked with a parent who support their families by scavenging through the garbage to find food, clothing, and items they can recycle. I listened to the mothers talk about their wish that their children could just go to school, learn to read, and have a better future. That simple dream just broke my heart. So I knew I had to do something to help. So nine years ago, I started volunteering with Safe Passage, a Maine registered nonprofit that works with the families and makes it possible for the children who live around the dump to go to school. I've been so inspired by the many successes at Safe Passage. Uh, for example, there's a grandmother who supports herself by scavenging in the dump. At 73, she decided to learn to read to help her grandchildren with their homework. She started attending Safe Passage a few hours a week and learned to read. Recently, she wrote the story of her life using a computer. She has inspired me by showing that it's never too late to do something extraordinary to help others. So I want to combine my passion for the children and families in the garbage dump with my slightly unusual passion for long distance kayaking. So I want to kayak from my home in Maine to their home in Guatemala, a little over 2,500 miles. I'll be stopping along the way in at least 13 cities where I'll be telling the stories of the children and families of the dump with the goals of raising awareness and raising funds to add additional grades to the Safe Passage School. And many people ask me, why a kayaking expedition? Why don't I just write a book to tell the stories or hold a golf tournament to raise some money? Well, it's because I love long distance kayaking. Over the past 30 years, I've led many multi-week canoe and kayak trips for groups and completed many solo kayak expeditions in the Canadian Arctic, along the Northwest Passage, and along the seacoasts of different countries. I love the feeling of freedom of having everything I need to survive right in my kayak. My food, my camping gear, my clothes, my computer. I can go anywhere. This will be a stretch for me but I really like trying to do things that are just outside my reach. If it's easy, it's not very interesting. And yes, I do have some arthritis and previous kayaking injuries, and that will add to the challenge. I'll be living on painkillers. Maybe I should get a pharmaceutical company to sponsor me. I'm leaving Maine in July of 2014, and I expect it'll take about a year to paddle to Guatemala. Please join my journey. Learn more at the website www.kayakforsafepassagekids.org. Volunteer to host me as I kayak near your home. Invite me to speak to a group along the way. Attend an event while I'll be speaking. Find out about our art workshops for youth along the route. Follow the journey on the blog. Check the Where's Deb page. Keep up in real time with how far along I've paddled. Share this story with your family and friends in the media. I'm covering all of my personal expedition expenses, so your donations go directly to Safe Passage and are tax deductible. Please make a donation now, or even sponsor me by the mile. Please join in helping the children of the garbage dump. Their parents are working so hard and doing everything that they can so that their children can have a better life. With just a little help from us, the Safe Passage children will have hope for a brighter future and an opportunity to achieve their dreams. Join me.